Britain's economy is in the intensive care unit. According to figures by the Office for National Statistics, UK economic activity shrank by 0.2% in the last three months of 2011. This means that the prospect of a double dip recession is only too real. The British finance minister said the figures were disappointing, but not a surprise. Britain has substantial economic problems and debts built up over the last 10 years. We're dealing with those, but the truth is dealing with those problems is made more difficult by the situation in the Eurozone. And clearly what's happening at home is also affected by what's happening abroad. The government's harsh austerity measures, which they say are necessary to bring national debt down, are driving unemployment up and are hurting exactly public services. Here at an old people's centre in London, elderly people complain that services they used to receive, such as free meals, are being eroded and that care costs are increasing. The old people, they're the, you've got a real life for the elderly. They pulled you up, they fed you, they milked you. They looked after you, mate. They kept you warm. They helped you when you was crying. They took you to school. That's what you've got to think about. And it's so easy for you, for the people at the top to forget it. The contraction in economic activity was driven by a 0.9% fall in manufacturing, a 4.1% drop in electricity and gas production, and a 0.5% fall in the construction sector. Meanwhile, the services sector, which accounts for two-thirds of the economy, ground to a halt. For their part, the opposition Labour Party said the fall in gross domestic product was linked to the government's tax rises and public spending cuts. They say these are curbing domestic demand and are leaving Britain badly exposed to the economic crisis in the Eurozone. Economists disagree over how serious these figures are for Britain. Some say that Britain is headed for a double-dip recession, and others say it'll see anemic growth during 2012. Either way, a flat economy won't generate the growth needed to bring down unemployment, and that means it'll be a hard slog during 2012 for workers and businesses alike. Roshan Mohamed Sali, Press TV, London.